We're going to be doing a quick little tutorial to help my friend out with customizing his sagging jeans and first problem is there is no sagging jeans base file so if you are having trouble finding a jeans that sags go ahead and head over to my discord link in the description and download this file here so once you download this file you should have these two files this is the piece of clothing itself and this is the texture what you're going to want to do is if you don't already this will be in the description as well open up open IV and if you don't have it uh, install and then open it what you want to do is open it as GTA 5 go up here into tools open file in textures editor Gonna want to go to your file location and this is the ytd which is the texture you're going to open that in the textures editor you're going to go down here export all png and export that to the same location hit ok and open up photoshop okay so once your photoshop opens up you're going to want to go to file open and find that png that you just did this png so what you're going to want to do is open this up in photoshop and as you can see here we are then you're going to want to go to file new title this whatever you want and copy these specs with 4300 height 4300 resolution 300 and then hit ok now this is the waistband so up here these little Burberry logos that's the waistband the top of the boxers on the sagging pants this is the front right leg kind of like let's say this is the arch between two legs that's where that is on the right leg and this is on the reverse side of the uh, left leg or the opposite leg if that makes any sense so so for example real quick we'll do uh, we'll just do this we'll go here and I'm gonna put up here, like by the waistband, test. I'm gonna put it a couple times. Oops. Test. Okay, so now I'm gonna move it. So that should all be up on the waistband. So test, 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 test. And then right around here is the, uh, that one leg. So I'm gonna go leg right. I'll put that there. Control T. Rotate that up around a little bit. Go 90.1 degree. So I'm gonna. Whoops. I have the move tool. We're gonna drag that down a little bit. Control T on it again. We're gonna shift click it. Make it a little bigger. The, like right there and then that's basically it then we're gonna file like let, let's say you finish your complete image of what you want your pants to look like then you're gonna want to go to file you're gonna want to go to save as and you're going to want to go down to P and G now you want to replace the one that's already there you want to click it hit save okay you can't do that because it's open over here so you're gonna have to exit file save as again you're gonna want to go down to png one more time click that image one more time hit save yes you'd like to replace it and click okay now you're going to want to head on over to Open IV once more, and you're going to want to go to Tools, Textures, Editor, this one, same one as before, and you're going to want to replace it with this. 
Now this is directing me all to the correct folders, but just make sure that you're going exactly where you save the files. So it's back in down sagging jeans. We're gonna hit open. We're gonna let that open up right here. We're gonna hit save. And then that is it. Now we're gonna head over to down sagging jeans, the file itself of the jeans. We're gonna double click it, or you can open it up through open IP, whatever uh, is your preference. And let that do its thing. It's going to load up. And you're going to want to go down here to add texture, click on the texture. And the test is on the waistband. The right leg is in between the middle of the legs. But we can just do a slight edit and fix that. The test on the waistband goes test, 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 test. I could do maybe five more tests and it'll wrap all the way around, maybe. Okay. Okay, file, same thing, file, save as. Now at this point it's a lot easier because you know what you're doing. And it's already open in Photoshop, so all you need to do is click on the image again, save, okay, okay. Then you're gonna want to close this, close this, go here, back to the file editor, textures editor actually, open it up, replace it over with the new one, Gonna go down here, click save, go all the way back to the hard file. Once it's loaded, go ahead and add your texture. And the test, test, test is almost all the way around the waistband and the leg to the right. It's a little more to the right. So this looks a little odd. So I feel like, oops, um, control T. I feel like a little maneuver this way might actually straighten it out. And then we'll go over to the right just a slight bit more. And we'll check out this test one more time, see how that looks. Test, 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 test. It only needs about one for a second. Test. Drag it over. Click OK, File, Save As, BMG, Save, OK, OK. Now exit that, go here, Tools, File, Textures Editor, boom, boom. Boom, Replace, boom, boom, Save, boom. Back to the main, double click it, let it boot up how it needs to boot up and I believe that for a test and to help my buddy out this is going to be where I leave you guys so that slight rotation I did and dragging this to the right side definitely straightened it out onto the top of the right leg the test at the end or the test that I did at the beginning uh, wrapped all the way around the waistband but basically that's all that you need to know you gotta just play around with the measurements and different uh, positionings because for example right here when I'm circling around on Photoshop would be right here on the pants so you have to you have to learn your Photoshop document to know where the placement is going to be on the clothing. But besides that, I hope I helped you out, and I'll see you later.